The goal is with about one and a half liters of fuel, the soldier could power their devices for the period of one day. And this device should last at the end of the project for a term of one week, which really represents the longest mission duration that a soldier would be deployed from their base camp. What we do here is under a grant from the UCSD von Liebig Center is fabricate biofuel cells that can be deployed for various applications, including the military. The machine that we use is called a thick film screen printer. And what it does is it essentially extrudes specially formatted, uh, formulated nano-modified inks through custom-designed stencils like the one you see here. What we do is we'll take a stencil that we've designed and insert it into the machine. We'll then take our specially formulated ink and put it on the stencil pattern. And squeegees contained in the print head will extrude the ink through the pattern and pattern a particular substrate that we're working with. It can either be a textile, a plastic, or paper. The operator will then enter a few parameters in here. The board will be loaded. And the device will print the pattern. After extrusion, we'll get a printed sensor, which we'll put in our ovens and cure at a particular temperature. Afterwards, we'll have a working sensor contingent or biofuel cell contingent that can perform useful functions like process wastewater and extract useful amounts of energy from wastewater, from urine, from blood, or even perspiration. The goal is with about one and a half liters of fuel, the soldier could uh, power their devices for the period of one day. And this device should last uh, at the end of the project for a term of one week, which really represents the longest mission duration that a soldier would be deployed from their base camp. Eventually, this will be integrated into a working device that the soldier can just plug into power.